Let's give it a go. Ready? Firing in three, two, one, go. Okay. That landing was a little harder than I expected. Alright, so as you saw before, I have this huge slingshot I'm going to be using. So that can give it quite a lot of power. Um, the cord that I'm going to be using is this utility cord. I actually got this for Christmas. That's just what mum and dad do. I, I actually quite like it though, how I just kind of get stuff like this. So I always find a use for things, but there's that. It can hold up to, where's it say? 135 kilos. I also didn't want to use like fishing line for the parachute because uh, that tangles lots, um, like really badly. So hopefully this will not tangle quite as much. And then here, I have this little cushion. I got an egg. And so if I put the egg in there and also wrap it up in this. Hopefully, with the soft landing I'm going to get from this homemade parachute, the egg will survive. The egg is also raw, it's not hard boiled. Okay, so let's get making this parachute. First of all, I'm probably going to tape shut this, just so the egg doesn't fall out. Basically, just tape around like that. That should be plenty. There you go, so the egg is nice and secure in that. Now, the parachute material is a simple plastic bag. I was thinking about using a garbage bag, but these come more disposable than garbage bags. So, this is, I'm going for like the cheaper option. Now I want to get some decent sized squares cut out of this. Alright, so look at that. That's a nice big piece there. Now I want to see if I can get some of this utility cord onto it. One day I'm actually thinking I might want to test the strength of this too. It's 135 kilos, see if I can put on 135 or even more and see if it breaks. Okay, there we go. Four lengths of that cord. Um, they're all pretty well the same size. So now, I'm going to fasten it onto here and then onto here. Actually, no, other way around. I'm going to put it onto here first. Onto this little parachute. And then onto the box, onto the egg. Okay, so as you can see here, what I've done is I've just put a bit of the duct tape on each corner here. So I want to then poke a hole through that and then tie the cord on. The reason why I put the tape there is so it's stronger than just putting a hole straight through the uh, plastic bag. So now, let's get some holes through here. Okay, so there you go, there's some holes in each of them. Now, let's just get that cord through it. Okay, here's what it looks like on the bottom, it's on the top, so I'm hoping it will then come down like that, hopefully nice and stable. Alright, so now I'm going to have to wrap this thing up. Okay, so the way from memory that you wrap up a parachute is to hold it like that, pinch the top of it, move it like that, and then you fold it over and then all you do is you roll it and you get the string or something and you just roll it up. Something like that. So when you fire it, it gets a bit of time to get some air going upwards. 
that then unravels and it should hopefully open up and make this egg land safely on the ground. So now I'm going to go set up my um, little slingshot and see how this goes. Alright, so as you can see, just hammer it in, two poles there. Bang, straight into the paddock. I don't want to fire it too far, but I'm pretty much ready to, to shoot this thing. Actually, first of all, here's what I think is going to happen. Parachute's not going to open. It's just going to hang there, produce a little bit of drag, but and then the egg's going to come hit the ground, and it may survive. I think there's a chance it might survive without the parachute, but Let's give it a go, ready? Firing in three, two, one, go. Okay. Go. Okay. That landing was a little harder than I expected. I reckon what I should have done is fired it up a little bit higher. If the egg survived or didn't, I'm probably gonna shoot again, except I'll try aiming a little bit higher. But let's go check it out anyway. Okay, here it is. I didn't shoot it very far, as you can see. It's just over there, but... I don't know, I can't really tell, because it's all closed up, but I'm just gonna cut it open. Okay, you ready? Oh, it feels... But may have a small fracture somewhere. That nah, we're good. Gosh, I'm surprised. That was a that was a very very hard landing. I don't know if you could properly see that, but what I saw that was a solid landing in half. So what I'm gonna do actually, so that's good that it survived. I'm gonna give that another try, except pull back harder and angle up a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so for the first try, I didn't really give it everything that I had, but this one I think we're gonna try that. Um, again, predictions, parachute's probably not gonna open, um, cause homemade parachutes, especially rush ones like this, um, don't really open up too well, but, and I think the yeah, egg actually might break this time. But let's find out, so. That, that. I'm standing right behind the camera, that's how far I'm pulling it back. Just hope I don't hit any animals. Okay, so you ready? Firing in three, two, one. Oh man! Don't know if you can see that, but the parachute started unraveling. And then it was just about to open, I think. I reckon it might have opened if it had a little bit more air time, but that's pretty much as far as I can bring it back without this thing snapping because it's quite old. So, let's go check out the egg anyway. Last time it landed just over there. Now this time it's over here. So you can see that after landing and rolling, it got a bit tangled, but you see how it mostly opened up? It was getting close. Okay, let's break through this tape. Hey, it feels intact. Look at that. Anyway, I've wrecked the box, so that's dead. I won't be trying this again. I've done three shots of it so far. And I had a lot of fun making this video. If you wanted to try this for yourself, feel free, just follow along or or like make, or make up your own design for this. Also, I suggest spending a little more time on the parachute if you want actually to work. But anyway, if you did enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.